Hello, I'm Larry Davis. This is a second video in the Least Weasel trapping uh, project. While you were gone, I took the other piece of PVC and rigged up the other uh, sticky mouse pad. So the next thing we've got to do before we're ready to trap is bait this thing. So I've got a little piece of chicken here and some wire already pre-cut and I've actually uh, made a little hole with the wire through this chicken already just to make it easier. I uh, froze it uh, so that just it would be easier to handle. And so now there'll be holes through the sides of the coupler on the PVC. If you slide your hand part way in and then attempt to find your hole. And I've made it there. Let me get it through the other side. There you go. So I'm going to position that in the middle. I'm going to bend these tabs up. You got to make sure your wire, when you cut it, is long enough to bind it on the top. And I'm just going to give it a couple turns. Bend the tabs down so they don't uh, poke you. And so you can see I've got my piece of chicken inside there. It's about a two inch uh, size piece of chicken. Um, it doesn't need to be too, not two inch, two centimeter, I mean. It doesn't need to be too big or uh, you know a perfect cube, but just cut it up into small pieces that would interest a least weasel. Before we close it up completely, we want to add our lure. This is really stinky stuff, but uh, that's why we're using it. So you get a little bit on uh, a twig or uh, toothpick like I'm using and just smear a little bit on the outside. When you smell it you realize that you don't need a lot of this stuff but uh, when the bait's frozen it's minus uh, 10 or 20. Having uh, an oil-based lure on the uh, bait will help pull animals in. So I've smeared a little bit onto my chicken, positioned it approximately in the middle and now I'm going to put the two pieces together. So now I've got my second piece of wire to hold this end on. And if I've done it right, you might have to play with it a little bit to make this happen. There it goes. You may have to twist it sideways a little bit to ensure that you can get it through. Okay, I'm back. Turns out the hole I had was a little on the small side. So I've gone and re-drilled it out a little larger. And now it works fine. So again, I fold it over the top, give it a twist, give it a couple more twists. And then fold the points down. This uh, this fastener also will benefit us in for attaching this to a uh, post or or a twig or a tree out in the bush. We can wire to this and then wire to that so that no other larger critters steal our uh, least weasel trap. So that's it. We're ready to go to the field. Uh, you could pre-do these uh, the night before and uh, have them all ready. Uh, if you had the sneaky uh, lure on there, you might want to put it out in the garage overnight. But now you're ready to go to the field.